So welcome to another whiteboarded video with Red Hat Services. My name's Chris Pittman. I'm a managing architect with Red Hat Services, and I have... My name is Carl Moos, and I am a senior OpenShift architect with the Container Practice. And we're here today to talk to you about operators and how you can use custom operators to really up-level your, uh, your cluster management and really just kind of uh, take it to the next level of how you actually manage the resources inside of OpenShift. So, what do we see with customers today when they're managing kind of the custom resources? Right, so every customer will need to create projects within their, within, within their OpenShift cluster. So what happens is, is they either manually create these, which you don't want to do. They, they use the custom project template, which only allows a single configuration. But customers are always going to have projects that are different. Right? So what happens is, is they usually manage some kind of project configuration out here, and that we, some kind of automation is created, whether that's Ansible or Jenkins. And then that's used to go ahead and create the projects, as well as create the objects within the project. So your config maps, your secrets, your role bindings. And just like we were saying, because of the limitation of a template only allowing one standard project, most of our customers end up... They don't use it. Yeah. Right. So it's normally this process that we see. Yeah, exactly. And then when we're talking about cluster configuration, uh, you, we only have one cluster configuration per cluster, unlike projects, but every customer's got multiple clusters. Yeah. And we want them to be consistent. The entire reason we have a lab, non-prod, and prod is so that we can test out changes and promote them across environments, and that's only valuable if they're consistent. Right. So we usually end up in the same place. You know, we've got a set of, of resources, and we're using something like Ansible to actually create those resources in the cluster, trying to make sure that they're consistent. It's easy to mess up. It's easy to have some drift because you didn't write the Ansible scripts quite the right way mm -hmm. or just not run them often enough. Say, if they're there, they're already in a pretty good place because our worst, worst case scenario is we go in and they're using OC Create. Yeah, don't do that. They're just hand-coded <laughs> resources. There's nothing consistent about it. And it, we try to get them to Ansible as quickly as possible. So how do we fix this? Yeah, so operators. If you've heard anything about OpenShift before, it's all about operators. It's all we talk about mm -hmm. these days. So an operator is just a very small program that runs in your cluster and just constantly looks at the configuration of things in your cluster. And it says, is it right? Is it right? Is it right? And if it's wrong, it fixes it. It's, it's a very simple concept. There's a lot of complexity in implementing it the right way, which is why we have something called the operator SDK to help make it mm -hmm. correct. But it's a very simple concept. Right, so taking your concept, I created a custom project operator, which we see up here on the diagram. And with this custom project operator, it's going to uh, still consume our, our project information about what our projects look like, what are the objects within them, but it's going to, the, the, the creation and the reconciliation is done by the operator. So that allows us to have projects that are consistent to their specification, so their config maps, their secrets, and their role bindings will always be the same. You know, sometimes developers go into projects and maybe they accidentally delete a secret or they change a role binding. The operator will make sure that that is put back and that is always in the consistent state that is defined over here. And the, the other use case that we've talked about is, is credentials, right? Usually yes. we have to roll them. And what do we do when we roll them? So a, a common case is that we've got Git credentials, right? So all these projects are probably pulling from a Git repository somewhere and it's authenticated. So in your case, where we need to roll the, where we need to roll the creds, we make the change here, and then we have to run one of these processes that we've written and iterate over the projects and hope that it works. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. With the, with, with the uh, custom project operator, we can make our credential change here, and the operator will go through and reconcile everything and make sure that the credentials are correct. Right, yeah, okay. So same thing for the cluster configuration, right? So my cluster administrator is going to create a custom cluster configuration operator that understands the, the customization specific to that client, creates their resources that are consistent across all the clusters. If there's anything that's different between the clusters, you know, non-prod has a different registry from prod, then they, then they can create a custom resource that has a much smaller set of the, the cluster specific configuration instead of the overall everything I need to do to get OpenShift up and running. And then the operator will take that and, and customize this configuration just, just where necessary. Um, and we can then manage these operators 
very much the same way that we manage any of the other programs that we run in OpenShift. We can put them in a pipeline, we can promote them from cluster to cluster, we can test them, we can test our configurations, it's a crazy concept, we should do it. Uh, but it, it just opens up a lot of power and standardization. Right. So this all sounds great. How do we get started? Yeah. So I mentioned the operator SDK. Operator SDK is what Red Hat developed as an open source project because we were developing so many operators. There are complexities in how you develop an operator. So instead of having to do all the complexity yourself, you use the SDK. It's got almost all the logic packaged into it. All you have to do is add the pieces that say, what do you want to configure? And you can do that either with Ansible or with Helm. If you've already got Ansible scripts, yeah, go ahead, use them. You can take those Ansible scripts, you can create an operator with them. You can have an Ansible or Helm operator up in you know, two hours or less. Get it in your cluster, try it out. Like, don't let, uh, don't let uh, concern about how complex it might be hold you back from trying it out and just, just go for it. Sounds great. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun. Carl and I you know, uh, have a lot of experience with this and would love to work with more customers on this. So contact Red Hat Services if you're interested in how you can use custom operators in your own operations day to day. And uh, go to redhat.com slash services or contact your account rep. And you know, thanks for your time. Thank you.